71822, my traders, take a look. Look at the 50-day. We didn't make it, and then we had late-day selling. So let's take a look at this 30-minute chart, traders. We could see where the top was, and we had a top being resistance, right? Right there, no matter what. And then we start to move down, right there, and it comes exactly on a 30 minute it hits a 50 minute period now moving average that's not a daily that's 50 minutes 50 period minute and it tested it but look at the late day sell off and some of that has contributed that apple is going to freeze up on their hiring so when apple dropped that took the SPX down because it has a 7% weighting in the index and that is factual there. So when we look at the overall trend, my friends, is that we see where this rally was making highs on the morning and it was looking super good and it was and remember these are bear market rallies off of their lows is what the whole thing is about. And how far they go is going to be judged by many different indicators. But that was a 30-minute sell-off right here. Um, I can also show the hourly. So you could see what it was like. And it broke below a 200-minute, a 50-minute, and was working and breaking that 100-minute period on a 60-minute daily chart so we were also about to go into a 60 minute sell signal which that would make it go lower now we've had a tremendous rally and we have so one thing we did not see of late in this whole up move is where you had the 60 minute sell bars off an announcement from Apple that took the broader market down. IBM is down $7 in after hours. So earnings season is on deck. Netflix is going to be tomorrow night, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. What matters is they sold into the rally. Sign up for the free five-day trial. Let's go ahead and work together. There's a link there in the market video. Market data connection it. lost.